All right, and welcome to another vamp show. Another, another vamp show, right? This is another, another vamp show. All right, so yes, sorry. I'm going to give this a second try. I, whatever I clicked on, it did not like. It was uh, some crazy porn or something like that. Who knows? Uh, so, all right, let's take a look. Uh, so let's start over real quick. One of the things we talked about is we talked about this 12-hour. Um, uh, this is our itchy chart. And we've watched this play out exactly like this. The price got sucked down by the uh, the Tekken line. It then flattened off. The price ba bounced back up, almost made a second high. You can see, look at this here. It's doing the exact same thing. We came down. Now the price is bouncing up. Now take a look at this. I am going to warn all of you, and I'm going to warn you only one time here, okay? Now, we did just post up a very bullish weekly candle pattern right it is a bullish possible weekly candle pattern sorry i got the hiccups and uh, with that being said you need to be very very careful here okay so this is bouncing up right this is bouncing up right here right what what's happening is it's doing exactly the same thing that it did over here right it's doing the same thing now it's trying to break out of our resistance level right here. And we just talked about a little earlier that that's probably the same thing that happened here. This thing probably broke up over the resistance area and then pulled back and then fell out. Now on this 12 hour chart, right? You can see that you had the three, five, six pattern and it fell out. Now this is a very bearish pattern. So is the nine, right? So is the TD nine pattern. The TD nine pattern is also extremely bearish, right? So extremely bearish, right? Uh, yeah, that was a really show, a short show. <laughs> exactly. So it was extremely, extremely, uh, so here we go. So we're looking at this and this, what's happening here is this, this is pulled down. It isn't then coming up, but this is an extremely bearish pattern on this TD9. Now this TD9 can bleed up here, right? You can bleed up here a little bit. And this is an imperfected nine also, right? So this is a very imperfected nine. So with that being said, this can definitely go, this can go higher. This can also reset and bounce up. And, you know, you're looking at this, this consolidation area right here of what's happening. And it just kind of putted along sideways for a few days. Same thing we've done here. This went one, two, three, four, five, six days before it fell out. We're on two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're starting the eighth day here. <clears throat> now on the daily, on the daily, we've started a six. Right? You guys know how I feel about sixes. I hate sixes. Sixes are, uh, I love and hate them. I love them because they tell me that the end is coming or they tell me that this could be the reversal or they're very informative on that. What I don't like about them is that I want them to either be, I want them to be uniform. So I want this to be either, I want this to turn out to be a red six. If a candle, I want this to be a red six candle. A red six candle will tell me that that is the end. Now look over here. Look at how exactly perfect this is playing out, right? Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Eh, eh, right? Hanging man candle. Hanging man candle, eh? Little, little crazy right there, right? Little bit on the, a uh, little too much alike, right? Wow, that pattern, just a little too much. There's your three. Your price action never came back up to your three, right? Now it can, it can definitely come back up here and tag, but you know, you, you're looking at, you're in a situation right here where this is just, you've got to create a new higher high. This is playing out exactly like this. This downtrend is, is still holding the channel. Your 12 hour, your 12 hour still holding within this. And remember, this can also go up before this falls out. All right? All right. So I, I, I want to I wanna just warn everybody. This is a very, very testy, very, very testy place to pull along, right? We just posted up a wicked, wicked hanging man on the daily, right? 
But the thing that worries me is not that. The thing that worries me is you go over and we take a look at our weekly candle. Our weekly candle over here is definitely concerning because this big weekly candle posted up a this is a this could be bullish. This could be a very bullish scenario, right? That just got posted up and you see what happened last time we posted one of these right here. Now this trend was definitely a longer continuation trend down and it had to retract. But uh, we've come down and we just, you know, this is this is a tough area to trade in right here. I don't like, I still feel there's not much top side to this. You know, if this thing did take off, you know, you still know what our ranges are. This can still get up. You, you just throw the 618, you do the fib line, you throw your 618 up there, and that's kind of where you end up. All right, uh, one other thing I want to take a look at is I want you to pull back over here to the let's go back I want to go to the daily now what likes to happen on this daily chart when you do do a drop right when you do a drop even here even on this one look at see this this dropped again it's just this there hasn't been another drop here right here you go this dropped all the way down right up 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 and then it dropped and it just kept dropping and dropping the skipping along the bottom this one here fell, skipped at least along the bottom. This one fell, skipped along the bottom. This one right here, I mean, you can go over it, and they all like to skip on the bottom when they fall. <clears throat> this has not fallen yet. All right, this is definitely not falling. But when they like to fall, right, when these like to fall, they like to fall pretty damn deep. They like to come back down here and test again. We have not done that, right? We're still just trapped up here. You see your high line up here, 70, uh, 67, 6700 is still a top. This is a pretty good top for me. I bet if you came back and you pulled your, uh, your fib lines, there would be some kind of a signal up here for where that's ending, right? I, I still think you're playing in the range, just like you played in the range right here. See, look at that. And look at this. You know, you're, you got a little bit more headroom right here. This, this can definitely play out, but I, I'm, I'm worried that this is got to, you know, this is going to just bang around here and it's eventually going to fall up because it's matching this just too damn good, right? It's just too damn similar to this right here. This is what I'm watching and this is what I'm worried about and this is what I think is going to happen. So we just need to watch this play out, right? Now this can just bang around here all day and we'll see what happens. But, you know, we like we like to have those bloody weekends. <clears throat> and one of the things Peak was mentioning, it was mentioning about that bloody Monday. So this could be a very bloody Monday. So let's just, we're going to watch this. We've had a bounce. There's been no true retracement here. Look, there's nothing. We have not had a retracement here. Here's the bounce. We have had a retracement off of our bounce. This is a legitimate retracement. Right, this is a good retracement right here. We're at least up to the three, the the three two six, I think. So we're at least at three eight two. So we at least did somewhat of a retracement here, and you know we're looking this for one more drop down. Uh, let's go back over here. Okay, let's take a. Here's our bitstamp chart. All right, so our bitstamp chart has basically been telling us where our potential tops and bottoms are. All right. So here's kind of our bull target. We, you know, this has been our bull target right here. Uh, this chart is old. There's our bear target one. It bounced up. Now it did get into our bull target. Now look, there's your 382 right there. Came up, just kissed all the bottom of it, and it fell out. Now look at this three-day. This is posting up a super wicked hanging man candle. Still got two days to close on that. Uh, same thing there. Now you did post up. Previously, on your two-day candle, you posted up a spinning top candle that is bearish, right? This is a bearish that's a bearish signal right there. It did fall out, so that bearish signal played out really well. All right, we're going to come over here. Here's our long to shorts chart. If you're looking for a short squeeze to occur, our shorts are still climbing, right? Our shorts are still climbing here, so you need to keep an eye out this. So there's, there's a lot of belief that this is going to still fall out of the sky. There is no worry for a short squeeze here unless this thing just blasted above $6,700. I think I don't think the, the shorts will get wide, start to get really wiped out until you popped over $67, $67.50. And then that's where the, the worry and concern would start to play in right there. 
All right, let's pull up what do we got here. All right, so we've got our, our chart. Now, this is one of the charts I'm just, I'm just sitting here and I'm having a, a moment with, right? I'm having a serious moment. I'm a little confused, right? Uh, you know, you just have to excuse me, but I'm a little pissed off right now because I can't find this damn pattern. I cannot find this pattern that plays out anywhere with this diving 50 MA, the diving 20 MA, and the and the, the leveling off 30 MA. I just can't freaking find it. All of it happening above the price action. I just have gone back and I just I cannot find this correlating pattern. They all happen every time these these kind of these these crosses happen right here in this pattern where you get a cross between your your 50 and your 20 you'll see you get this they're underneath the price action but the 20 is coming up right the 20 is coming from way low look there's the 20 coming way low 20 coming way low across the 50 right 20 coming from way low crossing the 50 so one one thing we've talked about and we've gone over this numerous times with everybody is you 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 this is circles these are circles right and these are it's this is a spring right and this is a circle action that's all this is and the spring is coiling up here to right there okay and this is yeah, i i've just i'm watching this thing play out and in this is the first time we've had all three moving averages stacked right on top of the price right so here's the problem here's the issue if this does crash out here or if this does moon up, look at the resistance. You've got an insane amount of resistance above you. It's 6656, 6679, 6700. You got a ton of resistance just stacked. You know, you when you get these MAs all stacked like that, I mean all three of them for God's sakes. I mean you just can't see all three of them stacked like that. I'm trying to find where here. So here you go. Look at all three of these stacked. Tried to break through. Said no, thank you. Right, all three of them stacked right there. Just push the price down. Right. I mean, it's this is this is crazy to have them all stacked right here. And look, you see if these swing back around like this right here, right? If these swing back around like this right here. What happens is this is very bearish when you get all of them in this very tight band right here something bad is going to happen, okay? Something bad happens when they all get this tight, okay? We look at that. That's very bad to see all these doing the super cross right there, and that was an extremely insane super cross, and they all just mooned to the, they just went to the stars right there, okay? So I want to just have everybody keep in mind that this pattern has never played out. It is never. I went all the way back and I couldn't find this pattern playing out. Now, if this were all of a sudden break north here and, and get above, then we could have a different talk right there. We'd have to sit here and, and say, okay, wow, that was an extremely bullish move to smash through all three of these moving averages, right? Especially from this distance here, because by the time you get up here and hit these, you're already going to be weak, right? You're going to be weak. All right, so uh, that's that's kind of what uh, I'm seeing right there, right? So because you have moved so far, you'll have a lot of weakness in your in your run, and you'd run into all these moving averages, and then they'd kind of be your your uh, like a, like almost a brick wall. Yeah, I mean the price action would have to be right up here next to these, and then I would like to see it run through them. But right the way that sits right now, I'm not liking that at all. Okay, uh, so here's our J hook chart. So we've got our J hook chart. Uh, once again, watching uh, these these levels, watching our RSI. Now our RSI is breaking a little to the north side right here. One of the things we talked about earlier is we talked about how how bearish how bearishly diverged all of this is. Uh, you know, in in the larger uh, frame uh, time frame, right? And here you had the same amount of upward motion on the uh, upward mobility on the uh, on the uh, RSI. You had the same amount right here. Look, sixty seven percent, sixty seven percent. Here you had a twenty percent jump. Here you've only had a five percent jump. So this is very bearish right here. What's actually happening is this price structure is moving down. You want to see the inverse of this to be looking for bullishness. 
right? You want to see the opposite. You want to see the total opposite of this to be finding that bullish reaction to where what's happening is you're getting these massive runs in price and these small runs on your indicators. So we're still doing the opposite right now, which is still means we're clearly in a bearish market and nothing has changed. All right, so our histogram, histogram is ticking back up here on this new daily. Uh, it's giving us a little bit of a run. Remember, your histogram can go up and down. This histogram can run all the way up here and it'll pull all the way down and you'll never even know unless you took a screenshot of it. Uh, you'll never even know it was all the way up there. You probably have, just have to march down to a bunch of lower time frame charts to see how it just mooned up here like a big sailfish sail. Okay, so we're just kind of kind of keep an eye on this. Uh, now, I will say that the candle that closed out, and we're going to go over that in a minute, was very bullish. So you did have a bullish candle that did close out for our weekly. We'll get to that in a second. All right, uh, let's take a look at our RSI. So RSI, this was tilted down. So this was definitely headed in the lower direction. You see where you've got a bunch of resistance above you. This is actually the two-day chart. I'm going to bring this over. All right, there's the daily chart. So you see there's a lot of resistance right in this area, and this is fine for this to break north. You just got to still keep an eye on this for this to come back down and break south. Now, the bullish area that we like to see when this does break bullish is going to be much higher here. It's usually about 53 to 56, and we'll show you that on the RS, on our, our bubble chart, right? But our RSI chart here was still, this area probably did kick back up here and then rolled over, and you can see that look at this, this is this peaked out in this wick. So this wick here shows that this actually was higher, much higher, and then it rolled back over. You can see the wick there on the candle. And then this, so this is how this played out here. Same thing here, big wick, those big wicks came up and then folded over. So this shows you that this did have a higher run on it before it did wrap back down. All right, yeah, let's come back down. All right, our Bollinger Band chart, let's just run through our BB chart really quick. So here's our 12-hour chart, right? Our 12-hour chart, something you need to be concerned about. We just talked about this a little bit earlier. You do have this nine. You are on a green nine. It is bleeding. This is a bleeding green nine. Now, your top side on your 12-hour just moved up, so we're going to adjust this. You got a little bit of height. Look at this. This is great. 60s. I love this. This actually works out really good. 6606. I like this a lot. So this definitely gives us, and if you go back to our original charts, right, our charts that we're kind of using to play everything out on, on our main screen, you know, this is, that's where we have our shorts stacked up, right? And you guys aren't in the, if you're not in the members area, uh, let's pull this over here. So I know my chart's messy, right? So that's great because look, this must break 66.15 in order to be bullish. This is really good. I like that. I like that the Bollinger Bands are coming in and this shows us a top on our BB band right here. And you see the squeeze. Chone just talked about this squeeze right here. Here's the squeeze. And if you look at these squeezes, let's go back and take a look at the squeezes he has here. Okay, let's go back. I want to peek at the squeezes. Look, there they are. I've got all the squeezes. I've got them all marked out already. So, must have been doing something. In the members area. So, every time we get these squeezes, right, this really tight band, it snaps down. It's been snapping down. So, you've got this really tight squeeze again. We're at the very top of this squeeze. You know, we're looking for this to possibly drop out one more time. Okay, now this dropped out to the trend line. Look, there's in this kind of didn't really make a squeeze up here, but this definitely fell out, came down. There's our trend line touch. Trend line's moving along. Now we're still looking for a test of this trend line down here in the short term. And when I, I, I this is now I'm talking days to a week, I'm still looking for this to be tested. I want to see this tested down here. All right, so we're going to kind of back up and we're going to peek and see where this heavy squeeze is. Like, look at these squeezes. There's a squeeze. There's a squeeze right here. This is all a big squeeze area. Squeeze broke up. Then squeeze again, broke down. Squeeze here, broke down. Super squeeze, broke down. Squeeze again. And there we go. So just kind of we are in another squeeze area. So this is super tight. This is very, very tight in here. Okay. 
So now we gotta watch out. There's our support level. I'm still looking for this to be tested. Let's go over and we're gonna take a peek at the daily here. So look at how high up our daily is. Man, daily is just a daily moon, right? So right now we're gonna take a look at our middle daily BB. So our middle BB has moved down to 66.83. Okay, so it's still within a good range, 66.83. This is still a good range. I, I mean, I like this range right here. It doesn't give us much upside. I like this 66.06 much better on the 12 hour. Um, so came down, here's our bottom BB, same, same thing, we're down here in the 5200 area. I still think we are going to come down here and test this area soon. If this doesn't happen in the next day, you know, we'll get a, a, a maybe a pump up, get a wick up, and then get a fall out here. All right, so we do have some range on the top side for sure. Very limited on the 12 hour, got a little more push on the, uh, the, uh, the, the daily. And the daily is not squeezed. So the daily does not have any kind of a squeeze whatsoever. It is just one big open maw, right? So it's just big open area, kind of like this. Look at how big this open area was. I mean, this is much bigger, but there's that. All right, let's, let's cruise along here. Uh, okay, here's our charts. Uh, basically, this is a comparison of the longer term charts. This is one of the most critical charts. I have my arrow. This arrow's been here. I'm going to leave it here. This is still my target. I'm not changing it, okay? It's going to touch the bottom eventually. RSI still trending down for the month. Uh, still trending down on our Stoke. Uh, still trending down on our MACD, our histogram. All right, look at still trending down. There's our, here's our, here's our monthly now look at this on our monthly. We have still just crossed over on our monthly, right? This is still a new cross on the monthly. This is not that deep, right? Look at all these months positive. We've really been, this has only been crossed over for really one, two, three months, right? We've had three months crossed over bearish. All these months were technically bullish on the MACD, okay? All right, and oh, that that's and that shows you this got a long way to go to get down there. You know what I'm saying? This thing's got a long way to go. It's, it's a hell of a bottom right there. Okay, so this is our weekly chart, our monthly chart. Sorry, it's our monthly, our weeklies. This is just takes you all the way back to show you what happened in 2014. Uh, let's take a look at doggy. I like to see doggy. I like to see what's going on with this sucker. Got a little bit bumped back up. Uh, one of the things we like to talk about doggy is you got one, two, three. And then it kind of, look, one, you got your peak, your double top, and then one, two, three. So one, two, looking for another fallout, three. Uh, Doggy does a pretty good job. I do like it how Doggy does kind of call out the tops on BTC. It's kind of weird. Uh, all right, here's our six-hour MACD chart on our bubble chart. This will actually be used over on our 12-hour chart right here. 12-hour uh, this just does, I don't get a lot of help from this right now. I just don't have a lot of help. This thing keeps climbing, so we just keep moving up gradually. And you can see where a lot of the dumps happen up here. They happen just a little bit higher. So, you know, you got a little bit higher. Remember, this can keep moving higher even though the price action moves lower, right? Now, this has been a hell of a run for this MACD right here. Absolute insane run for the MACD. Right, insane drop for the MACD, insane run for the MACD. And and once again, we go back and we talk about that in other videos on how this is bearish divergence because these huge runs are not uh, coalescent with the action, with the price action. The price action is clearly not having the same major runs, okay? I'm not talking about the runs you get when you go eat at bad food either, right? Bad Mexican restaurant. So, all right, here you go. You got your one, two, three. This is super important right here. We're trying to count out to see what this is. Now, we've invalidated this as an impulsive wave up, right? So, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. We've double M, we've tripled three times. We've broken the wave one. So, bang, bang, bang. We've broken wave one three times. So, this means that this is some kind of a wave five. You can count here at the blue line one, two, three, four, five. You can get a wave five up, and you'd be looking for this would be a wave one down, wave one down here somewhere. This is trying to either make a wave. One with the wave two down here, 
and you're starting the wave three and or this is trying to finish out some kind of a baby wave five because you can still do that one two three four five like this yellow chart has so you can still be trying to finish out this up to 6600 up here and that would be your target box right so this is a little more on the bullish side this is but this all looks like a wave c Right now, can this wave C get up here and do some kind of, uh, uh, this would be an, a, a regular wave five. This would be a truncated wave five. This would be an extended wave five. All right, so on, on our large scale, large time frame histogram chart and our MACD, right? So our MACD is still moving up, right? We have our line. So we now have our trend. What we're going to do is we're going to do another trend line and see if we can get some kind of a, uh, right? There we go. See if we can get some kind of a, uh, right? Like almost like that. There we go. Okay. So tap E kiss little high right there so we're going to go a little bit bring that a little bit higher right so there you are you, you know this thing comes up you come up you might close out the day today or the 12 hour with one more little bit of push up you would hit this line right here this would be your trend line for this trend right as this comes down get up kiss this line look for this to fall out now i yeah i haven't seen this fall out yet look at the last two times you had this big swooshing motion here Right, you've had this big swooshing motion here. Every time previously, right, there's been a down with an up and a down. Down with an up and a down, and then another up and a down. Down with an up and a down, like two ups and downs, right? Nothing. We had just nothing here. Same thing, nothing here, right? There's no extra little dips. Look at these dips. One, two, three. Very, you know, where are these? Where are these? I'm looking for this to happen over here still. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull this back up. This is our fib chart. Now our fib line chart shows exactly what happened. This has been here. Bounce off the trend line. Hit the trend line. Bounce back up, right? And one of the things we've, we've, we've gone through in one of our other videos is we said that there is a bottom line. The bottom line is this trend line. This trend line keeps moving sideways. We just moved this trend line sideways to 63, 63, 68, I think it is now. So it's like 63, 68 is where this trend line is right now. So you just got to kind of keep moving it sideways. So you should have some kind of on your chart, right? There it is right there, 63.67, right? You're, you're in the range. So 63.67 is your test for your bottom, right? And that goes back over here. So you pull up this chart. So 63, now we've got to make an adjustment here for this to be bearish, 67. For this to be bullish, it still needs to be 66.15. Right? 66.15 is what we're looking for. Okay, so we just adjusted that. Um, yep, all right. So on, and then when you go back and you take a look at these boxes here, right? Take a look at our boxes. Now, I also compare this with this line back here, right? I go back here and I see this bounced up, bounced up, and here's your trend line. Here's your trend line that plays out right here. So here's your trend line that's come up. You see the trend line gets broken. This almost makes a double top and then it dies out, right? We had the bounce, right? So you had this bounce came up, right? Then you have this bounce and came up and we're kind of watching this to see if this plays out in a similar kind of pattern like that does right there to make a possible double top up here, right? A double top would be, you know, you're, you're getting a little bit closer to the 6,600 mark. Can we see how long the MACD on the last bear trend lasted how many red how many little red lines uh, how many little red lines can we see how long yeah let me go back I can go back all right so let's go back oh wait it's this chart there it is all right 
All right, so how many little red lines did the last one? Yep, yep. This one right here? This one right here? Has three bars. Not that, all right. This one? Ah, this one right here, right? Yep, yep, yep. This is the monthly bars, okay. So the monthly bars, right, if we go back, all right, so this is a Phoenix chart. Look at never, whoa, oh, yeah, hold on a second. Never. The histogram was never bearish. Yep, it was never bearish. So you've had how many bull? One, two, three, four. Well, you guys know it's been years, right? It's been years, years this has played out. So listen, this might play out in the weekly. Let's see if I can show that on the weekly, right? So I'll switch this one over right here to the weekly. All right, wait, I'll stick, keep this monthly. I'll switch this here. I'll switch it to the weekly. All right, so we can see how many bars, oh Jesus. All right, so the bear market lasted. Uh, I can't even count all those. There's just too many to damn count. Let's do a... Uh, Got to be a pip thing here. Here we go. Start here. So it was uh, 55 bars. 55 bars. Okay, so then we'll take this over. All right, same thing. I actually had a bullish bar. 32 bars. So if you're going to use this, we've still got a way to go. So 52 months. All right. Whew. Look at how ugly that is. Uh, also on our, so take a look. Let's look over here. So look at this on our weekly. Our weekly has come up bullish one more time. All right, this is our weekly. Yeah, 22 weeks. So this is our weekly right here. So here's our weekly. Our weekly is actually trying to turn bullish one more time. You see our histogram. Our histogram is trying to turn bullish one more time. Right? It's so hard. Try Look at this craziness. Up, down, only kidding. Backwards, sideways. This all, this is just insane action right here. Uh, we crossed over bullish got that little pip, came down, right? Posted two more weeks of bearishness. And it's right now just on the cusp, trying to kiss each other, trying to take this. Now, this is a bullish sign, right? On the weekly, that is a bullish sign. And, you know, we just posted up a bullish candle on the weekly. So if you break this down and you break this up, right? We did post a bullish candle on the weekly right here. So this is a bullish candle and you need to be warned of this because this weekly did post this is a bullish candle. Candle combo. Right? This is definitely a bullish candle combo that just got posted. Right? Bullish candle combo that just got posted right there. Let me go up and find where we're at. Okay, but at the same time, this bullish candle combo has played out or can play out. Let me grab this. Let me grab this chart. Let me grab this chart. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Give me one second, everybody. Let me find this thing. Okay, here it is. So this bullish combo, right? You see, here's your mother bar right here. This is a long line candle. You have a long line candle mother bar. You then have this uh, inside bar, right? And or bearish haram, bullish harami. This is actually kind of a bullish setup. You see it just moves sideways once it breaks the low of the mother bar candle. Then it basically invalidates this as a bullish candle, right? You can look at this as some kind of a fakie pattern, right? So this would be some kind of a fakie pattern. 
and you see that even though you post this up, this still gives you know gives a little poke up here, or right? you still get a little pokey action, but it doesn't really break out over this candle right there. Okay, so this is also warning because this just gives us this is uncertainty in the market, and that uncertainty makes it really difficult for us to trade right now. Even though I feel we're we're bearish still, we're still very very bearish. I feel that being this bearish is still you got to be careful because you know if you're not in this as a swing trader trading for the long the long scalping right and if you're not in this as a swing trader playing this as long scalping hold on, I'm dumping a couple charts really quick let me pull out this last chart where is it at Give me one second. All right, there it is. All right, so here we go. So here you go. So here is this right here. So you can see that this is a bullish inside bar candle, right? It's completely contained from high to low. And, you know, now this is super, super low here, right? It's super, super low. And this has played out before. You know, it has played out, played out right here. Now, you could have possibly looked at this one also as an inverted hammer. An inverted hammer would be a much more bullish candle. But this is also a spinning top candle, which is also a good sign of a reversal, right? This is a, a good sign that the uncertainty in the market, the market's like, ah, ah, yeah, I don't want to, I do want to, I kind of want to, maybe not, okay, right? And this is, I love to see these spinning top candles to show me these reversals. All right, but first of all, we got to do is we got to break out over that 66.15 mark, right? Uh, let me pull this up. So there's that chart. Uh, okay, here is your, so let's see here. All right, here's our ETH, our ETH chart right here. Uh, all right, here's ETH. Look at this. Very good. Okay, this is great. So you see ETH is headed right up here. Right there's ETH. ETH is trying to march over here to hit this trend line. ETH is on a nine, okay. ETH is on a nine. It's going over here. It's trying to hit this trend line. Let me pull this volume thing off. It's really annoying. What the heck? I have two volumes up there for some reason. All right. So look at you're coming up and you're trying now every day that moves over, right? Every day that moves over, you you know your trend line drops lower. So there's your trend line. Your trend line is now coming up to this target, right? You're just about to peck the target, and and you know this could have if I would get up here and probably dial in this chart a little bit more, I could probably find it you know a little bit better now. Once it breaks out over that, it's got a tough little road right here because it's got to get up to the 5.0, right? If it hits this 5.0 right here, it's going to be really, really tough. But I mean, technically, this could have already tapped this trend line. If I really want to get up here and get super tricky, I bet I can go to a couple different timelines and pull something up that shows that that actually touched that. But then you got a lot of resistance right here. With that trend line then here's your other trend line right this thing just keeps moving down so you have to keep moving this thing down and there's your 50 ma your 50 ma is marching down on your 12 hour so kind of watching that there's my line come here oh that's a wick that's a wicked wick all right all right plop this bad boy All right, so basically, all right, TD9. All right, so you're on a green TD9, right? This is danger, 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 especially on a higher time frame like this. All right, let's look down lower. No help there. Four hour, no help there. Uh, just right now, careful because if this comes up and does a double top, this would be a double top. If this gives you a double top, you would then have to look at a lower target down here at 167. 
right? If this does post up a double top here and start to drop out, this would be super dangerous if that was a double top and you'd have to look at this as, you know, a, a really like a one, two, three, and then it just comes all the way down here and it gets super ugly. And this is your target for a double top is 167. Okay, so you got to watch out for this. Warning if this is a double top right here. Okay, and... Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So this is our counting chart. This is basically our count chart. Our one three five, uh, our three five nine one three five nine chart. And I gotta get these dang volumes off here. All right. So here's our one three five nine chart on our daily. You see that we are posting up, and here it is. We are posting up a one three a three five nine combo on our daily three five nine combo with a little bump up, right? Three five fell out, three five fell out, right? Three five went mooney, right? Uh, three five nine fell out, right? We're on the three and the five right now. So we just posted up our three and our five. You see the range we have, right? We still have some range here. 67, 61 is your 50. Right, and let me make sure, let me confirm that, yep. So you still have range here. You know, you've come up, you've kissed your 382, right? You've kissed the 382. Let's see if this thing falls out. And when you, what I like to do is I like to go back and I like to look at the very first times we fell out. We could do that over on our fib chart. And you can see that a lot of times in your very first fall, right, you really don't ever retrace that much, right? So look at that. 382 on your first fall, right? This is a, a nice fall right there. You pop the 382. There's another one, 382. Okay, so there you go. This thing likes to do this 382 action on these falls. And there we are. We've come up, we've tacked the 382. If this is, and what I think this is, is just, I don't think this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think this is an ABC. This sure looks like it from our other charts. And this would be looking to, uh, your, your 385 is your top, and this thing is going to fall out, right? I mean, this is just, this is, ah, so frustrating because, I mean, that's what I'm seeing right here. And the market is just moving really slow right now, taking its time. You've got your 3 and your 5 chart, right? 3 and your 5, your 3 is higher, your 5 is lower, okay? You're just, there's a lot of signs that this thing just wants to fall the F out of here. It just wants to take a tank. It wants to take a dump, right? Red five, dumped. Ah, so frustrating, because it's just moving so slow. Red five, right? Red five, red candle. So, you know, we're, we're posting up some very similar pattern. Right, this thing is just playing itself out over and over and over again. So we're gonna go close. <laughs> so we've got the first, uh, I'm gonna use this arrow. So you've got the three. I'm gonna copy this. Clone. And you got the five, right? You got a three and our five right there. All right, I'm going to print this up. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at our bottom. Uh, we have another chart that's over here on the bottom. This is kind of my chart that shows how this is an invalidated five wave. Uh, we, we invalidated wave one with wave, which what would have been your wave four multiple times. So now you're just, and then this is kind of my chart. I've been playing uh, short play this layer. So we've got short stacked. I'm gonna slide this over right here. 
right? And I do. I have short stacked. I have 6580, 6600. I have a, one more short and I'm just kind of chilling in these shorts right here just waiting, right? I'll, I'll put one at 6540. I want to play this as a short target here, and that's fine. I'm just going to play a small position. But if I get wrecked, I get wrecked. And the good news is I'll, I'll just, I know I took a good shot at it because I see a lot of indicators that are saying this thing should dump out, right? This is definitely a C wave. This is a freaking C wave. It's, it's not an impulsive wave up. This is a C wave, right? And unless this thing goes sideways all the way till the 30th and we get an ETF announcement and then things go moony moony on all of us. Uh, I think that there's, you know, that's also a possibility. I mean, this thing can just definitely go sideways for another, you know, uh, what, 10 days, right? Today's the 16th. It can go sideways for sure for 15 days. It's done it before. So now we're just kind of trapped right here. But I think this is an invalidation of what I think is, is this would be the top of wave five. Right, and this could also be your uh, your last little push up for this wave one, two, three, four, five. The blue wave, can you see it in here? This is blue wave right here. So you got this one, two, three, four, five right here. I'm gonna make this thing pink. There it is. I don't know if that helped or not. That definitely didn't look like it helped. It's still hard to see. There's blue, right? One, two, three, four, trying to make our little wave five right here. So, and then you would slide this uh, over here. Sorry, it would slide this over here. This wave two stays over here. And that's kind of what you got right there, right? So, so then your wave five would slide over to here. And all this has to do is just break this uh, 6585 up to the 6900. And this would be your, your wave five you would be playing of this one, two, three, four, five, wave C. So this would be your wave C right here. That would be the termination of your wave C. And then, then you would start your countdown. Or is this it? And then this is starting its countdown right here. So we're still trying to figure that out. Until we break this level, I'm going to leave this C right over here, okay? Uh, your stop losses should be, and I would move my stop loss up just a little bit, just in case there's some wicked wick, maybe 25 would be something safe. And remember, low level shorts, you want to, is you're stacking shorts to play this as a short, you want to start, you know, the, the best way to do this is you're going to do like 10% at uh, 65, 40 now you're going to do 20% at 6580, right? And then you're going to do, uh, probably do another 40. I'd do 50%. Uh, I would do 35% at 6600, right? And then you can even be in a small short right now. Like you could have even a small short open right now. So you could be in a small 10 percenter. Oops. 10 to 15% now. Right? So this would be your short stack right here. And then you would be looking to get stomped out of this trade here, right? But remember, because you're stacking this higher like this, because you're stacking this, you have less risk, right? So if you only, have, you know, you're kind of laddering in. And when I talk about this, let's say your first 10% is, you know, 2,500 contracts, right? And you're 3x, Right, then your next one would be right, your next one would be twenty, you know, five thousand contracts at three X. Right? And then your last one, you know, right here, you could do something crazy. You could do like uh you know seventy five hundred to ten thousand contracts for five X uh or greater. You could even do it like eight X, right? 
because your stop loss is so close, you, you're not going to lose much on this trade because your stop loss is really tight. Got it? So you're, you're not going to lose anything. You're going to lose 25 points on this at a 5x to 8x, right? You can even probably, you know, if you want to get super risky, you could probably do like a 10x, right? So you just, you, you'd have very narrow margin of a loss on this bigger trade right here. Right? You just have a very narrow margin uh, on this and you, as you stack this thing up. And these, these are going to be smaller margins. And you can even, you can even just kind of ladder these in too. Like you do, like this one could just be like 1%, right? 1x, then 3x, then 5x. And this would be a lot safer entry for you. And then this one right here, so you just be at, you know, like a 1x, right? You could just be at a 1x right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wait for your confirmation. So your confirmation trade to enter more shorts. So if, if this played out and you're trying to catch the knife, and what this is, is this is the catch the knife. This is the catch the knife, right, uh, play, right, which is always more dangerous, right? There's higher ROI, right? This is higher risk. Right, this is higher risk for sure. Right, so this is the catch the knife scenario right here. All right, and bam. Let's get this. Okay, then, so that would be your catch the knife scenario. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of make that darker. Make it like purple. Make it purple. Okay, we're going to put that over here. Now, the smart, the smarter trade, Right? The smart trade here is to wait for confirmation. Right? This is the smarter trade, right? In the wait for a confirmation, we have it over on our other side. Right? Break 66.15, right? To 66.20. Right? This is this is a break this, and this would be a long. Uh, then you'd play a long scalp here because you'd have to kind of figure out what the hell just happened, right? And then for the short, you would play, uh, so the short trade, short trade, you would wait for the, uh, the dump has to break the 66, 80, well, 66, yeah, was it, where were we at? 63, 63, 68, then, it, it, but it's got to close, break and close below, then short the shit out of it, right? Then short the living shit out of it, right? So this would be the smarter trade right here. Right, the smart trade is just do nothing absolutely nothing don't be cocky don't try to you know yeah and listen unless you are a good scalper and we have some amazing traders who are some amazing scalpers right we have some amazing traders who are playing amazing scalpers we got rocket we got kk we got a bunch of really guys and these guys are absolutely beast scalpers right and but you just can't sleep on those trades you just can't sleep on those trades right there. Okay, that's the only thing is you just can't sleep on those trades. And then here's your, your second area to be looking to load up the shorts. So here's your two plays. So you kind of got a good game plan here now, I hope. Right, and this is your game plan. Now, if this thing breaks low, there's your low break right there. All right, there's your low target right there, your trend line. But here's your high target. So we're just going to hold up here and we're going to wait because this thing can come up here and be trying to make this last wave five or just some kind of weird wave two down or this is making a double top, 
right? If this makes some kind of a double top up here, you're easily your targets down here. 6185, 61, uh, 6113, also another good number, right? Uh, 6150. So if this thing is trying to make a double top, that's, you know, you're, you're watching that also. Okay, so we got that figured out. Oop, I want to go back to that. Let me make sure we got this all pulled up. All right, there we go. Uh, back to our Ichi chart. Uh, same thing. Listen, same thing. There's nothing's changed over on this Ichi chart. Uh, I still think, you know, you can you can pull up a little bit more, and let's just kind of see what happens. Look, if you look at this, this had the two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. You're on the six. Right, you're on the six. Now, you haven't posted up this spinning top candle yet, and you're moving slower in your consolidation zone. You're moving much slower. So this six could just post up a spinning top before the thing falls out and you make a bloody Monday. Right? So we're gonna we gotta find out. We're gonna put right here. Hmm. You know, bloody Monday. Right? Maybe a bloody Monday. Right, just go through this day, post up a spinning top, give us a little oomph, maybe a double top, right? Maybe a double top, maybe a double top here, right? Maybe and then a spinning top candle, and then dump, right? So pretty easy you know we it, this is a pretty easy trading scenario right here because you, you can just wait this one out and you just don't even have to do anything just sit here and wait this thing out yeah and let me show you how accurate these these lines are that are down here here's the 12 hour look at this tap tap right and there's our look at see now we got to take this line we got to move this line a little lower right there's that line right there Okay, this line, we might even pull this baby a little bit, this tiny, there you go. All right. So now this is what we're just kind of, we're just sitting here just waiting for this thing to play out. But the smart trade right here, the smart trader is just going to sit on the sidelines and they're just going to have a good day today and they're just going to do a whole lot of nothing, right? Copy. All right, so there's that. Uh, I want to take a look at this. Eat the, uh, we had one of the people in the chat. Great job in the chat room. Right? Great job in the chat room. And uh, he, he, he saw this uh, on BTC, on ETH to BTC, on the weekly. He saw Bear Cross. Let's see. Yes, it did cross. All right, so you have a death cross on your uh, on your weekly. So you did get a death cross on the weekly here. Okay. And this would be our target for this. This would be my first target. Target one. Okay, there's target one right there. This would be my first target here. Now there will be your high side right there. Right there, you'd be a high side. You got resistance. So this baby could just kind of pop up a little bit. Green. And then pop down. Red. All right, um, I'm trying not to make longer term. So this is ETH BTC. Uh, I'm trying not to make longer term calls. Uh, oh, BTC up or BTC down. Uh, nothing. My call right now is nothing. I have no call. No call. Zero. My call is sit on your hands. Spank your monkey. Go play with your wife. Play with your kids. Ride a bike. Don't do nothing. 
That's it. That's all you had. That's it. That's your. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go and you're gonna do nothing. And I just gave you two. Here, screenshot this. Screenshot this. This is what you got to screenshot. This is it. You need your choice. You need to make up your choice. What kind of trader you want to be right now? Right? You want to be a risky trader. Right? You want to be a little riskier trader. You play the catch the knife. You want to be a smart trader. You wait for this to break high or you wait for this to break low. It's that simple. Right? That's all you have to do right here. With all this sideways action, we have already showed you this is an invalidated wave five. So we're just waiting for the drop here. Whether it comes here or comes here, it's going to drop. We're just waiting. And that's right. Yeah, you can totally hedge a trade right here. Totally hedge a trade. Right? But this is exactly what you need to do. Right? All right, let's take a look at the Litecoin. Litecoin did cross bearish. So there we go. We got a bearish cross on the weekly. That didn't just touch. That crossed. Right? So that didn't touch. That cross. That happened quick. Right? Actually, I want to do this. I want to give me a target. Is that our target right there? Or is this our target right here? No, because we've already exceeded it. Have to go here. Yeah, I'd say we have to go here to here. You've already run through your 1026 618. Whew, man. Uh, yeah, so your targets on your Litecoin, LTC to BTC, I mean, you've already run through your 1 to 1. So your 1 to 1 is already done. If this bear cross plays out, like most bear crosses do, yes, they have, they are delayed. That's correct. They are delayed. So let's pick a target. Right? Two, three, Jesus Lord. Yeah, all right. So it's kind of my targets right there. And you're right. I mean, this thing can definitely play out, but that's such a wicked candle. All right, and there we go. Yeah, you know, let's, let's, I want to pull up, let's go back. I mean, how many people have been following me for quite a while? How many of you guys out there have been following me for a minute? Right? How many of you guys have been following me? Right? Where is that? I mean, we got this cross. And see, take a look at the cross. There's the weekly cross. This bounced back up into it, but then finally fell out. Right? So there's your weekly cross. Let's take a look at the daily cross. Nothing. No daily. Now, nope, there's your weekly cross right there. So there's your weekly cross at Litecoin. Now, the price did come back up into it, right? But then it slowly just kind of faded back down to a new lower low, right? So what this could have been doing is this, this moving average could have been just keeping down this bounce here, right? This like this should have probably bounced higher, but the cross actually kept the price down, right? And let's go and look at ETH. We can go take a look at ETH and see what ETH did the same thing. All right, get this up here. Four hour, six hour. Right, oh, light, light coins. 
So that played out perfect. I called this inverted hammer, called that inverted hammer, called for a long trade. That was perfect. Uh, I'm still going to keep this target up here as a double top target. Right? There's your 5 -0. Your 5 is right there. It's wicked through it a couple times. The 618 is your, is your trying to your money. So you're trying to get up to the 618. And you just you're in a you're in a tough place right now with the Litecoin. I'll put this over here. And I want to pull one more chart up. I want to pull Ethereum for our final chart. And then I am done for this night. I've been on freaking live stream forever. All right, so here you go. Uh, I want to pull this back to the weekly. Pull this off. All right, let's go find. There we go. So you guys know how I feel about these moving averages, right? Take a look at this. There was your bearish cross. We've talked about this. Look, moved across, just smashed it down, and then that was that, right? They just kept smashing it down, and there was no hope for it, and then it just died. All right, we're going to pull this back up. Okay. All right, I'm going to scoot this back over here. All right, I want to take a look at... Ah, I'm sorry, one last chart. I'm only getting weekly. Pull it off. All right, of course, this is freaking Binance. All right, so of course we got our Binance chart. It was probably the worst chart to ever look at. Fibs on, right? Okay, do we have another chart? Do we have a Phoenix chart? There we go, Phoenix. Thank you, God, Phoenix. All right, weekly Phoenix chart. All right, so there was our bearish cross. So I got our bearish cross on the weekly. Smashed the living bejesus out of it. Bounced up, right? Coming back down. Uh, so there it is. You still got your support down here, 5,300. It's moving up, so that's good. All right, and let's go back over here. 12 hours. Uh, here's kind of what we're watching. We're watching this channel. So here's your channel. This channel's playing out right here. So we're watching the channel. Your top side of your channel right here, you've got this 30 MA. So here's your 30 MA. Your 30 MA is going to work as your resistance. As you come up here on the 12 hour, so you've got, we're going to go ahead and 30 MA resistance. 30 MA, 12 hour, parked at, uh, what's that, parked at 6580. 6580. All right. All right, 6580. Oops, excuse me. Okay, there's that. There you go. All right, so if you come up, this is our target right here. That's our target before dropping down. Bear cross confirmation. There you go. See, there it is. Screenshot that. Screenshot that shit. All right, your top side, 7,200. Look, look at all the MAs up here. Look at all these moving averages up here on this higher time frame. Right, this is like if this thing does take off and this thing goes moony, you still got to compete with the top of this uh, trend line right here. Right, and you're in this trend A B C D E. It sure looks like an A B C D E A B C D E. Right, if not, it's an A B. Could be pulling a C D and E. So we just got to watch this thing. Got to figure out which one is which. But this could, yeah. You're just in the squeezing channel. So you see this inner channel right here? This inner channel squeezing. This is your outer channel. Uh, and then what you could do is the way you could play this out also is you could kind of play this like this. Um, no, I wouldn't. I would just, well, shoot. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I would just play it just like that. That's how I play that. I'd wait to cross this. Right? Uh, yeah. Because this would be your warning area right here. Okay, this would be your... Right? Get your 
shorts ready right this would be your get your shorts ready area right here okay that's it that's it that's it uh rsi chart where's my rsi chart let me find my damn RSI chart. all right six hour Bring this up here. Right, there's that. Okay, where's my bubble chart? Where's my bubble chart? Let's go find the bubble chart. I'm just going to bring it up right here. There, uh, no, I don't want that one. I hate this. All right, and all right, so we're still inside. We're still inside of our rejection area, right? So this big blue box, the rejection area, this is our long trade area, right? This pretty much coincides with getting past the 6,600, right? 66 something. I mean, you get a quick spurt up here and you'd be looking for that. So nothing has changed. Uh, still in the rejection area, just watching to see if this can hold it, right? Seeing if this can hold itself up. And it's just a matter of time. All right, this was an old call. That was a great call too. That was a really good call. That call paid off well. All right, so that's it. That's all I got. All right, and I'm going to leave the page. And I'm going to leave this one up here for you guys. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to put this, get rid of this and put this down here. All right. All right. I'm still going to leave this arrow. Yeah. That's it, and we're all looking to test this right here. This is the test. This is it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. It's been, oh, God, my pleasure. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch everybody on the flip side. Later. I'm out.